Okay, so here is our question today and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting question. As you can see we have 90 plus 90 divided by 3. And on the first side this is a very easy question. Every one of you learned this stuff in the third or fourth grade. Everyone know about addition, everyone know about division. But what about the correct answer? Because on the first side this is a very easy question. But right here we have three options and I suggest you to pause the video real quick and try to solve it by yourself. It will be really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video. Video. So let's try to solve it. I feel one part of you will solve it like that. We have like 90 plus 90 and divided by divided by 3. And I, I swear one part, part of you solve it like that. We have 90 plus 90 equal to 180 divided by 3 equal to equal to 60. So 60, this is option A. And I feel one part of you solve it like that. Right now I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. We will solve it after like one minute or 30 seconds. But we have this option, yeah? And one part, one part of students solve it like that. Right now let's try to figure out how can we solve this correctly and with explanation. And for this question, I have this order of operation. For example, I have this PMDMC. Because we have addition and division, so we need to know what we need to do at first. Add or divide. Yeah? And for this question I have this PMDMC. I also have another, another order of operation. For example, we have bot mass. I respect every of, of this order of operation. But in this case, this order of operation are completely, completely the same. So let's solve it according to PMDMC. As you can see, this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so we need to go step by step and we need to try we need to try to solve it correctly. So we have 90 plus 90 and divided by 3. And let's solve it according to PMDMC and let's check with this answer. Maybe it will be the same answer as 60, I don't know exactly, but let's solve it correctly. So first of all we have parentheses and now we need to scan. Where do we have these parentheses? We need to look at our question real quick. So as for me I don't see any, uh, any parentheses, I don't see any of those, so we just keep this part, we don't have any any parentheses, which is which is really great. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step, exponents. So are there any exponents right here? Are there any squares, cubes, tens power? No, I don't see any of those. We have all all the first power, so which is which is really great. So we just keep this part. This is complicated part, this is hard part to solve it, but we don't have this, which is really great. So we just keep this part. Okay, the next step, multiplication. And most students do this common mistake because according to PMDMC, multiplication and division, this is one common group, yeah? So this is one group and now we need to scan where do we have this multiplication and division part. Let's look at it. Multiplication and division part. Right here addition, this is not, we are not interested in this. So right here we have division, yeah? So as you can see, right here we have division and the last step is addition and subtraction. So as you can see, this addition is after division and multiplication. So in thing, in other words, we need to divide before add. As you can see, division is the previous step as this addition, yeah? And let's try to find the answer. So we have 90 plus 90 divided by 3 equal to 30. Yeah, very obvious. And the last step, as you can see, addition. So 90 plus 30 equal to 100 and 120. And this is a very tricky moment right now, because as you can see, we don't have this 120. We don't have this option right here. And a lot of students confused about it. They don't know how can we solve this correctly. They don't know how can we choose a correct, correct letter, A, B, or, or C. And one part of students go back to this wrong answer. Right now, I'm going to tell that this is absolutely wrong answer and option A is absolutely incorrect. But one part of students solve the problem like that. They, they go from left to right, doesn't matter multiplication, division, subtraction, doesn't matter what operation. They go from left to right as right here, doesn't matter addition, then division, which is absolutely incorrect. So we reject this answer. And option A is absolutely incorrect. Because this answer is not according to order of operation, but according to PMDMC, the most popular order of operation in the world, 120 is a correct answer. So we still have two options. Right here we have option B and option C. Option C is obviously not the same as 120 because this is 45. What about this option B? This is a very tricky moment because option B, this is 5 factorial. And a lot of students don't, think, don't look closely to this 5 factorial because if we rewrite this factorial as a product, so for example, if we rewrite it as 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, we can easily see a really interesting moment. 1 times 2, we have 2. 2 times 3, we have 6. 6 times 4, we have 24. And 24 times 5, let's multiply it in our head, 24 times 5, 120. 
which is really great because this is not option A, this is not option C and the last hope for us, this is option B and as you can see 5 factorial this is the same as 120 which is absolutely the same as this 120. So according to PMDMC a correct answer of course is 120 and according to this test a correct answer I write right here so a correct answer is option option b 5 factorial which is very tricky moment and this is very tricky test so we hope you understand this explanation but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong i hope your answer is b but doesn't matter option a now you learn about pmdmc you know about it and thank you for your time have a great day and see you in the next videos